I go for jogging every Saturday morning to keep fit. Sometime last year, I missed a morning because I had to attend an overnight meeting to plan a young people conference. So I decided to jog the evening of that Sunday. While I was jogging, I noticed a guy jogging behind me. I didn't really look back to know the person, but I kept on jogging. I kept on focusing on my pace. It got to a point where I had to turn and before I turned, the guy increased his pace and met up with me. So I, I was forced to look back to see the person jogging behind me. So the guy said something in Pigeon and I quote, he said, guy, as I see say you did jog, I talk say I go jog. And as I see say you no stop, I talk say I no go stop. This was a guy wearing a t-shirt and a jean knicker, all right, with slippers. So it's obvious he didn't intend to jog. So my, 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 my question here is, I know, I know, I know the guy, <laughs> I know the guy hasn't probably jogged for like a long period of time. So this is my question. What if I stopped along the way? Would he have chosen not to stop? What if I did not decide to jog that evening? Would he have jogged that evening? People are watching and are being influenced by your actions. Consciously or subconsciously, you are influencing people positively by your positive progress and negatively by your negative actions. Like my story, don't you think if you stop chasing your vision, or if you don't start chasing your vision or your career or your development, that that guy who is jogging behind you, who is secretly being influenced by your progress, won't start as well or would quit chasing his own vision. Recently, I've been concerned about the growth of my YouTube channel and I have been considering putting it on hold to focus more on my Facebook platform where I have more audience. But last two Saturday, I met a friend who I look up to. I really love her IQ. I really love the way she thinks. And while we were exchanging pleasantries, she told me how she follows my YouTube channel and is thinking of referring some young people to me to mentor. Now, it is, it is amazing and encouraging because this is me who was thinking I wasn't producing enough results and enough value and someone I look up to walked up to me to tell me she's been influenced to refer someone or a group of young people to me to mentor. Champkin in his book Blue Ocean Strategy said, according to research, people respond and react most effectively to what they see and experience. And from experience, I know it is true. So why do you want to stop chasing your dream? Why do you want to stop being resilient? Why do you want to stop pushing your career when it is consciously or subconsciously influencing someone's decision positively? Why do you want to stop jogging when someone hasn't stopped jogging because he sees you haven't stopped jogging? Why do you want to quit chasing your vision when your actions are already influencing your boss to consider promoting you? or it's already influencing that customer to sign that contract with you. Why haven't you started when starting will influence someone to start as well? So finally, and more importantly, as believers, we are living Bibles, all right? And people are watching us. So let us live that life that will influence that person that baby Christian, that unbeliever to focus more on God as we dominate and influence our world. Yes, so have you benefited from this video again? Why not subscribe, like and share so you can influence someone else to dominate and influence their world just as you are doing.